Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we'll talk about the U Hotspot widget brought to you by Prime Slider add on for Elementor. Let's start by dragging the widget from the menu and dropping it inside the editor page. The first option here lets you pick the product image that you wish to display with the hotspots. For ease of use, there are three slider items available so you can pick a total of three images from the slider at start. Let's pick them first. Now opening the first slider item box and here you can configure the hotspots one by one. By default, you'll find three hotspots on the screen. Click on the boxes below the slider images to access the hotspot settings. Here you can position the hotspot using the X position and Y position scroll bars. You can set image, icon or none for the hotspot from the select type option on top. Switching to the product subsection, here you can insert the product name, description, price, button text and link. Within the description field, it's possible to add images with additional text inside. It should look like this when you do that. Changing the product title quickly. In the exact same way, let's configure the two more products in the first slider. Remember, you can customize the hotspot icon and replace it with something else from the field here. Like that, you can configure the rest two slides. There are more options below that gives you the controls to modify hotspot animations and slider animations. Jumping into the style tab, let's open the hotspot section here and edit the color of the hotspot background. You can increase them in size using the size scroll bar at the bottom. They currently have a pulse animation effect and here you can change the color of the pulse effect. Hovering on the hotspot reveals the content inside and the sections below the hotspots section lets you customize that interface. For instance, let's open the product button section and change the text color to black while choosing a brighter color for the background. Now the button looks like this. You can put values in the border radius field to curb the button edges. For navigation, you can choose among the 23 arrowhead styles available. For the record, the navigation arrows at the bottom right corner of the slider. Once you are happy with the arrowhead style, go for the arrow size scroll bar and adjust it to your liking. Then you could pick full white color for the arrow icon and full black for the background. Scroll down a bit and change the border color to bright yellow. Increase the border radius values to make them circular in shape. Also adding more padding will increase the area between the arrowhead and the border. You need to scroll further to find the hover options for the arrows. Let's pick black icon color and yellow background for the hover and check how awesome it looks. Now we can switch to the pagination subsection and make similar changes to its color profiles. Use the width and height controls to make them bigger. Just one more thing, going back to the hotspot section, we are going to add a border around them with a thin border width and give it the same yellow color. Now that's how you can create a decent slideshow using the Woo hotspot widget and impress your online customers. That's all for today. Hope this video helped you. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel to get updates on new tutorial videos. Stay safe and see you next time.